Hi everybody, just another quick video. Um, I just finished putting together a response for one of the members that was having issues getting an ENC um, web server piece of code for an Arduino to work on a um, WizNet 5100 card. And um, in the process I added a little routine to read all of the analog inputs and send them out onto the web page as well. And um, I just thought before I went to bed I might as well add in a temperature sensor that I had laying around. It's one of these DHT22 um, humidity and temperature sensors. It uses a one wire interface and it's pretty easy to um, use. So it you know once you've got to download the library and you've included it, it takes a very um, simple set of commands to read from it and I also added a function to calculate the dew point. So um, between those things there, anybody that's wanting to make, say, a small weather station or something that is internet connected has all of the basic building blocks to do so. So what I have here is um, the extra piece from the previous code that I added is um, this DHT.h, which is the library you can just download from GitHub. It's easy enough to find. Um, I define the DHT22 pin as pin 2 on the Arduino. I'm also using the WizNet uh, Ethernet shield on the Arduino Uno. Um, there's a bunch of variables here to um, allow me to calculate the temperature, humidity, and dew point. Uh, there's a few extra ones here that you can just ignore. The 112 and the 212 are actually a couple of other um, TI temperature sensor devices that I've removed and a code base here just for simplicity. Um, everything else I've already gone through uh, at this part which is to do with actually simply using the Ethernet adapter on the board and the parts that I've added for this is this uh, function called set send temperature to network. So what it does is it calls a function library reads DHT22 uh, passes in the pin and then what, what that routine does it will read the chip and set a couple of internal variables of the library to the temperature and humidity that is uh, read back. It doesn't immediately return it. The remaining print statements here are simply outputting the readings in a formatted structure. I haven't tried to shorten that at the moment. I just wanted to get it working and let everybody see it before I went to bed so this is um, where it's at so far and I just integrated it into the existing routine I had that was uh, just listing the time since power up on the web page and the analog input so now it includes the humidity temperature and dew point so if I just bring this across I've got the web page running here and show you you'll see that it is now happily showing you the temperature at 30, uh, 25 degrees centigrade in my basement. It's a bit warm right now because all the equipment's been on all day. And the humidity in here, we're in winter time still in Canada. Well, actually, we've just gone into spring, but with the snow and everything outside still, you wouldn't think so. Um, so the dew point is relatively low. Um, and that's self-refreshing every five seconds, as you can see from the screenshots here. Now, if I just take a, um, what, freezer spray upside down air duster and blow it on the temperature sensor you'll see the readings drop down oh. all right now it's gonna and it refreshes here it should start dropping down looks like I might have gone a bit too cold for it I just warm it up a little bit and see if I can get it back again. I think I froze it way below its uh, low end temperature range, so let me just bring it back up here. There we go. It has a limited range on these temperature sensors, so I think I just took it way below what it's supposed to have been there. Of course, with a hot air gun, I've probably now taken it higher than it wanted to be. 
So it's just settling down again. Anyway, the point is that um, with simply a power connection and one single wire on the Arduino, you're able to read the humidity, the temperature, and the dew point. Um, you could easily put this into a box, put it outside, or at least have the sensor um, on a longer wire and go outside so that you can read the temperature outside of the house and maybe have one inside as well on a separate pin and you've got yourself a little weather station and because it's connected to the uh, Ethernet port you can connect to your house hub and even make it available from a mobile device anywhere on the internet so anyway uh, just to, like I said just a quick uh, run through on how you can do that. I'll post up the code now and uh, use it as you please and I hope you enjoyed that.